Mira Issa is struggling too because in mm-hmm. the mirror world, shit's hard as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love that. She's like, bitch, I'm going through it too over here. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Now, you said she gets on Instagram. She just, at this point, she's pulling straws. She's like, I need to get oh, a headline. Desperate. I got to get yeah. anybody. Mm-hmm. So she's looking up artists on Instagram. She starts calling up randoms. Random people. Random people in her phone book who may have connections, regardless yeah. of the fact that she might not have talked to them in decades. Yes. She's calling everybody and is not very successful. She's going, Issa again is reverting back to her old ways when it comes to work of like desperation and like grasping Mm -hmm. at straws. Scrappy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When in reality she has to like sit, strategize and think she doesn't want to do that. She she just wants like the answer right now. (laughs) Immediately. Mm Yeah. That's how she runs. Yep. Yep. Um, So now Molly, she is out to dinner with Andrew. Mm hmm. And again, just dressed to the nines for yes. these dates. She looks so What good. is this date life that she has? Where they just What is this? Go to these fancy restaurants that require such a dressy <laughs> outfit. <laughs> LA is kind of like the LA has like yeah. more fancy like restaurants and less like happy hour casual restaurants. True. More like hip trendy. Like you yeah. have to look like I don't know what like dancing like <laughs> that look like something, you know? Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, so yeah, she, her and Mal, her and Andrew at dinner, she has all these plans for the night. They're going to mm-hmm. do this. They're going to smoke. They're going to do that. I know. And I love how they include weed now in the show. I was I waiting know, for like four seasons. Hold it in, <laughs> mm-hmm. hold it in very seamlessly. Mm-hmm. Plus they're in Cali too. So like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they're 30. We're at that age. Too. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, <knows>. Girl. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, she has all these plans, but Andrew made plans for yeah. after dinner. Yeah. Yeah. And she's like kind of tight at first, and he's like, "You're always working. Like I literally yeah. don't know when you're free. Like and you where blew you me off in? three days in a row. Exactly. <laughs> Someone just hope and wish on a dream that you happen to <laughs> not be working after dinner. No, yeah, I made no. plans, bitch. Bye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So she's kind of salty, but it is what it is. Now the next day, Issa calls up Molly, mm-hmm. and Molly, you can tell she thinks they're finally gonna catch up. Like yeah, she, I talk. felt for Molly because she was like happy. Yes. Like she's like, oh girl, yes, and she uh-huh. starts to talk about her day. And Issa just immediately goes into, um, that's cool, but um, I just talk real quick. So, <laughs> uh, what happened was my headliner yeah. dropped out, and I need your help, mm-hmm. Lord. So she found an artist on Instagram who she saw is under Live Nation. Yep, Andrew works at Live Nation, so she asks Molly if she could talk to Andrew. Mm-hmm. Now, Molly is badgering her with questions. Why did your headliner drop Lawyer out? Lawyer questions. Yeah. Lawyer questions. And also kind of like accusatory, like Issa, you... Oh, shady boots yeah. questions. Right. Yes. You're messy or you didn't work, like, you, you didn't, didn't the pay contract him. right. Yeah. 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 Type of questions. And Issa's just like, girl, I just need your help. Can right. you ask Andrew or not? And Molly very reluctantly agrees to do so. There's so many flaws in this conversation, and I think the first flaw was how Molly expects to be rescued a lot, Mm. and nobody's rescuing her, because Mm -hmm. nobody sees a reason to, Mm -hmm. because she appears so incredibly self-sustaining to other people that nobody feels like, wow, how's Molly doing? Even when she said... She finally exhaled, let her shoulders down, and said, "Oh my God, work is crazy. This, 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 this." Issa was like, "Okay, well, you got it. Um, anyway, I don't. So <laughs> here's my <laughs> issue." <laughs> yeah, and that's the second problem with the conversation is that Issa like really didn't care. No, and she should no. have told Molly that her headliner dropped out before she knew Molly had a solution. Right. Yeah. You know? I mean, honestly, when she left Tiffany's house, is when she should have said, "Like she should have." My headliner just dropped out. I got to run. I got to go yeah. figure this shit out. Molly would have maybe had a little bit more sympathy when she got this phone call because mm-hmm. she would have known Issa had been working the last three days trying to get somebody yep. and couldn't. Yep. So, yeah, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, Molly, she later, she shows up at Andrew's place um, and she wants to talk about last night because mm-hmm. they kind of ended dinner at like a, like oh, a weird... Uh, we're thing. fine. Yeah, yeah, like a weird thing. Yeah, and she apologizes to him for making him feel like an afterthought mm-hmm. and andrew's like i mean i like you but like our schedules are not <laughs> crazy yeah yeah compatible 
And Molly got very vulnerable in this moment. I liked it. Mm Mm-hmm. She said, she's like, I've never been in a relationship long enough to have to balance it in my mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. usually I mess it up by now. <laughs> <laughs> Which was a very real moment for her. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'll say I, I definitely related with her a little bit here because mm-hmm. like when Nate and I started dating, he came in at a very crazy time in my yeah. professional life. Right. And he was very supportive and along for the ride and our us seeing each other really worked around my schedule mostly Mm -hmm. yeah yeah um i do remember one night though he like kind of jokingly was like i mean do you have time for a boyfriend yeah because it was like probably another time where i canceled on him or Mm -hmm. he came to hang out and i'm like i can't even really talk because i have to go do this meeting really quick Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so i understand molly it's like you you're particularly when you're like a career woman you're like doing your Mm -hmm. thing and Mm -hmm. doing your career and then this guy comes along and it's like i've never had to balance (laughs) right someone in all of this so you're gonna have to give me some time to figure this shit out yeah and we're at a weird time in history too a great time and a crazy time in history where we are kind of having to do all of those things at one time otherwise Mm -hmm. there's no point especially in living anywhere in the tri-state area paying the rent we pay in if you're not doing it all like, why yeah. bother? Why bother? <laughs> you know? <laughs> this expensive ass city. You need to be yeah. hustling and you gotta doing be hustling. 10 different career paths. Yeah. Yes. And the opportunity lives here, LA, Chicago, whatever big city there is. And there's mm-hmm. so much pressure on women now mm-hmm. that um, both genders have to understand. Women and men who are in relationships have to understand. And whoever, um, you know, the non binary community as well, who is out mm-hmm. doing work. Um, Mm -hmm. and navigate conversations our parents didn't have to. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a different time for us, particularly as like young career women. Women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I appreciate that vulnerability and she assures him she's going to do better and Mm he assures her that he's like still down and willing to be, you know, patient work with her. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so Molly sneaks off to the bathroom, Mm -hmm. calls up Issa. Mm. Issa's hype, like, can't wait to hear how the conversation with Andrew went. Like, she (laughs) already is, like, reprinting the flyers with everything. But Molly (laughs) lets her know, you know, I didn't ask him. Mm -mm. And I don't think I'm going to. Mm. And then goes off on this whole explanation about how she thinks it's best that I keep these parts of my life separate. Mm. And, you know, this relationship is really important to me and I just want to protect that. Issa's, like, on the other side of the phone call, like, yeah. hurt and confused. And, yeah. like, yeah. now like, is when you're going to put this huge boundary up? <laughs> Girl, when you see I have no headliner for this <laughs> shit I've been working hard for for months? Are yeah. you fucking out of your mind? Yeah. And you have the answer. You have access to the answer. You and you access. wouldn't know the answer uh, unless it was for me, from me. Yeah. Because Issa started dating Nathan, and that's Nathan's friend. So, yeah. girl. Oh, there you go. Fuck out of here. Fuck, fuck out of here. Ooh, so, Molly that was, was whack. I felt for Issa. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Because now she's like, all right, now I got to figure this shit out myself. And my best friend here, yep. who, yes, they're not on good terms. And Issa could have done things so differently. Yeah, yeah. But still, now, Molly, is when you're trying to pull the oh boundary God. card. <laughs> Come on. Also, like, why the boundary card? <laughs> I've never heard this. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell so yeah that was the end of the episode so we yep. go straight into episode 5 mm-hmm. and he's a stress 3am mm-hmm. block party is tomorrow um, she's obviously not sleeping just so much on her mind mm-hmm. she gets on Instagram she sees that Nathan is online mm-hmm. and messages him next thing they're off and on the phone Yep, and Immediately, she tells him on the phone, thanks so much for your help, which kind of unclear at this point in the episode what that means. Mm-hmm. You're right, um, right, right. True. We learn later that you know, he helped her with everything. But yeah, um, but yeah, they get to talking and she gets into the whole Molly mess and mm-hmm. tells him, you know, shit's been building up for a while. And honestly, I don't fuck with Molly anymore. <sighs> so glad this was at episode five and we have mm. five more to go. Right. At this point, I was really happy this wasn't the cliffhanger of the season. Yeah. Oh, God, no. They have to solve this <laughs> before I go insane. 
<laughs> I can't wait another year. Season five. <laughs> this shit is hung like this. Oh my god, I would have been absolutely devastated if they uh, just left it here. So there'd be time for either a resolve or a peak. Yeah, yeah right. Exactly. Either one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, so meanwhile, Molly, she's at her apartment. She's getting dressed for the block party and complaining up and down about going. This is my low key sleigh moment because oh. Molly's bedroom, her bedroom fashions. Is oh my everything. god, yeah. they're it so is. good. They're so she, good. I know. She had a robe. She yes. had a two-piece set. Yes. And the two-piece set was like a boxer. It wasn't like a just underwear. Mm. Right. Um, and shout out to, uh, I want to say it's Shania. Shania. Shiona, maybe? Okay. Anyway, the stylist on Insecure. She's everything. And she oh, dresses okay. these people in these clothes that are so outrageously expensive <laughs> And I love them. I love seeing love expensive it. clothes on real bodies. I love it, love yep. it, love it. Because I know that set was like, it was a genre provocateur. It was million $5 dollars. Yeah. million. Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I love. It's the, it's that Sex in the City aspect yes. of the fashion. Yes. Like, everything Issa wears makes no sense. Issa's brain as <laughs> fuck. Yes. But it looks great. And but how we just kind of, we suspend reality when it comes yes. to the f- fashion on the show. So they can oh look great. God. Yes, the last episode she had on these like Nike like off white leggings. Oh, those are twelve hundred dollars. Easily, <laughs> yes. Like Issa, please. <laughs> but we just uh, no Chuck put that side out of our head when we watch yep. the show. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, Molly, she's but her. She don't want to go to this thing, but whatever. Andrew's like get dressed. Okay. Mm-hmm. So block party is underway. It's getting all set up. Issa's official. She has her own yeah. little intern yes. slash executive assistant. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Koya or Koa, whatever her name is, running mm-hmm. who's, you know, running around with her little earpiece thinking she's somebody. That she's yeah, she's talking to no one. <laughs> literally nobody on the other end. <laughs> oh God. Um, so then randomly Condola shows up. R- random. Because we didn't expect her here. Didn't expect her reappears. Mm. Ponytail nowhere. is back. And mm. being fucking weird. As yeah, always. being a bitch. It's, Yo, I really don't like her. <laughs> how does she bring the awkwardness? Like, I don't immediately, know. She shows yes. up knowing damn well you're the one that's supposed to have an explanation. Yep. And then you come and you're just like, oh yeah, I'm here. Just came to check on the vendors. Ugh. And Issa's like, didn't expect to see you here. Like, right. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to talk about the fact that you've fucking been dodging my texts and phone calls mm-hmm. this last couple of weeks? Like, what mm-hmm. the hell? Um, so, yeah, Condola reveals to Issa that her and Lawrence broke up, mm-hmm. um, which Issa didn't know, nor does she care, because she's been so wrapped up in this block party that right. you're fucking hurting your feelings, thinking Issa gives a shit at this point. <laughs> she's just trying to wrap this event up. Yeah. Um, but she came to congratulate her on the events mm-hmm. and on the events and all that jazz. Um, so niggas are on the step and repeat. And mm-hmm. by niggas, I mean Kelly. Kelly! <laughs> Black people do love a step and repeat. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Tiffany, she's hyped. She got out the house. She got mm-hmm. away from that baby mm-hmm. that she is just not into. Yeah, she isn't. And that's, you know, just another hint to postpartum, which I love. Yeah. Um, she's drinking. Kelly asks, you know. <laughs> Like, are you still breastfeeding? She was like, no. It didn't take her loss. Her like, loss? <laughs> that baby killed Simone's me. Baby Simone's loss. The her way loss. she said that, I was like, God damn, Tiffany. <laughs> that was cold-blooded about your own She's newborn. Treating her like a roommate. <laughs> yes, literally. <laughs> this new, oh this new little earthling yeah. is yep. taking up space. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah, later, the sitter calls. Derek leaves to go help. Tiffany yeah. wants no parts. She's yeah. dancing and keep yep. with them all and mm-hmm. yeah so there, that's ob- that's a thing something's happening yeah there. it's like a it's like a combo of postpartum and like not having her life anymore yeah mm-hmm. like her life was stolen by Simone right <laughs> and she's the one yeah she's the with one the out baby. of the four of them with a baby mm-hmm. and a husband yeah so it's yep. just like a whole different dynamic and she yep. feels like she's missing out so she's trying to stay mm-hmm. stay roped up um, now Kelly, she's excited for Issa. She commends Issa on a job well done. Mm-hmm. And then suddenly slips into this very strong, 
very random yes. London accent. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which has got to be one of the funniest moments of <laughs> yes. the season. The way I was laid out, I rewinded because I was like, what? her accent was so good, too. <laughs> so good. She so was good. so funny. Oh so my good God. and so, so strong funny. and mm -hmm. funny. Um, but yeah, Kelly's a trip. She has a new boo. Who yes, Amine. Amine, who was gorgeous. Yeah, what the fuck? And wasn't so, he with um, uh, baby Obama? The first baby Obama. Not Natasha, yeah. but with, with Malia. Uh, what uh, Malia? There's a picture. No, 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 no. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. hold oh. on, hold on. Whoa, hold on. All right, okay, everybody stop. <laughs> <laughs> I, there was a picture of them, like, hugged up together. Oh. Yeah, after some sort of a festival of some sort. Yes. But now she's dating some other guy. But yeah. Oh my God, I missed that. But yeah, he's gorgeous. Yes, like, he's so cute. Oh my God, he's tall. He's got a great smile. He's yeah. Like, he's got a really sh strong face. Face? Yes, I mean, a, you know and that I mean? strong face does well with that very fun hair on his head. Fun hair, yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like a dread, like dreaded fun. updo thing. Yeah, fun, yes, the whatever. dreaded updo. Yes. The entire vibe, I just fucking loved it. <laughs> yeah, no, it was good. It was good. Oh my god, and I um, love how Ke Kelly dates like hot guys. Mm -hmm. She always has a hottie. Yeah, always has a hottie on yep. the show. Love it. Um, because she's just bold and she'll talk to anybody. So right, yeah, she'll get anybody because she's always talking. She got big personality. Yep, love it. Mm -hmm. Um, but anyways, she been duping this guy, telling him that she's <laughs> British. So now she has to keep this fucking accent up, and it's just ridiculous. <laughs> when she said a taco, I like, <laughs> lost it. What is that? You mean is that a taco? <laughs> like British people don't know what tacos are, Kelly. Are you crazy? Oh, my God. So extra. Oh, um, so, yeah, Molly at this point, she turns up. Her mm -hmm. and Issa are kind of weird. Mm -hmm. um, we also learned that Vince Staples is the headliner. So yeah. Shout out to Issa. That's a big hey, one. guys. That's a little taste of this week's episode. If you want to hear the full recap, head on over to patreon.com slash two black girls, one rose, and sign up to get weekly recaps and other Bachelor content from us. See you next week. week.